Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials, and I am your host, Matt. As always, if you enjoy WordPress tutorials like this, they help your business, your hobby, whatever it is that you're doing, go ahead and subscribe and like these videos. Really helps us uh, get found, and as you know, I am trying to hit uh, 1,000 subscribers by the end of January, and it looks like we are definitely going to clear that being the ninth today. We are uh, 950 subscribers. We're almost there. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. I want to show you some of the features we've added to the baton theme. If you've been following me for a while, we, uh, my company, Slocum Themes, we create this theme called baton. You can get it at wordpress.org slash theme slash baton. It's a modern style uh, of a business website, a services website, an agency website, that kind of thing. And what I like to say is it's a feature theme. It's not a page builder theme, uh, but it's got a lot of great features. It's not a niche It's not a niche theme where it only does one thing really good. It's a feature theme. And you can check out that video that I've explained features versus page builders uh, in my channel. But what we allow you to do is build this homepage like a page builder, but without all the overhead of the page builder. So that's part one of what I want to show today. And speaking of page builders, part two of this video, I want to show you what we've done to make it compatible with Beaver Builder if you want to use Beaver Builder um, as a page builder, right? If you if you enjoy using page builder uh, as we do and as I do, uh, you can use that with the baton theme and get uh, the best of both worlds, okay? So let's dive right in. There's a lot to cover. I'm going to move at a good clip Go ahead and ask questions in the comments below. By default, when you install Baton, it's going to display this demo. Uh, we do that so that we can demonstrate what it looks like in the WordPress.org previewer. So we're going to go ahead and go into the customizer, go to the Baton features, and then we're going to disable that demo. When we disable that demo, it leaves us with this blog role. I've already kind of tweaked this, so you only see these three blog posts. But by default, and let's go back to... Um, the customizer menu option here, blog display by conductor. Now we create another plugin called conductor. It's content blocks for WordPress. And we use Baton to showcase the power of conductor. And what we've done is sort of built in the, the motor of conductor uh, for this uh, homepage blog role. So right now I have it set to show three posts. I can have it, I can just quickly come in and say 10. I could select a specific category if I wanted to, to display only a specific category uh, of blog posts. And you can see right there, it switched to 10 posts. Um, and then the real power comes in is when you can really fine tune the output of this content. This is a block of content uh, and you can go even further with Baton Pro. It comes with, with Conductor and you can make content blocks on any page and post, whereas in the free version, you can only do it on this home page. So if I wanted to do something like, hey, uh, I want to remove this read more link above the featured image, I could do something like that. If I wanted to relabel that and say, uh, continue, if I can spell, continue reading. Whoa, I still can't spell. Continue reading. I can change... Uh, I can change that label like that. If I didn't want to show featured images because like that one didn't have a featured image, I can s simply hit the little visibility icon and that hides it. You know, same thing with the author byline. I could hide that. So there's a lot of things that I can do. Um, another example here is I can switch between content and excerpt. I'm just going to leave it on excerpt because it's just a little shorter that way. I can really fine tune the output of my content. Um, another example here. 15 if I wanted to limit that excerpt. I can really fine tune the content uh, display with conductor and of course baton. And I can mix and match columns. I can go down from one uh, to two, that kind of things. But let's just say we want to go with, let's go with three columns. Next up, what we'll do is in combination with another plugin that we have called Note, which you, you can install with uh, when you install and activate baton, it's going to create this front page sidebar. And that front page sidebar sits right above this recent news section. Uh, just like you saw when the demo was enabled, you saw those big hero areas. So I'm only going to demonstrate one or two pieces and draw the similarities between what we do with Note and what you find in typical page builders. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Add Widget, drop in a Note widget. That's going to throw this right in here. And Note is a live editable text widget. So these nice little icons that WordPress just introduced to edit the widgets, we've already we've been doing that for years, literally. <laughs> so when you drop in a Note widget, it puts this little icon here. And when you click that, it opens up that, that widget area. So if I'm way over here in the, in the customizer and I just hover over this and click that, boom, it opens up this one. And if you click on the edit content button, it lights up which widget this is, right? Just in case you're not using a title. So what I'm going to do is switch this display of this note widget, which by right now I can just uh, 
you know, I can just type in text and this is just a live editable text area and I can just type in any text, drop an image in here. I can do whatever I want. It's like a big blank sort of canvas right here. But if I switch the display to a hero, let's go baton hero one. This is the big bold hero area. You can see the spacing is a lot larger. The font face is a lot larger. There's a call to action button here. And now if I hover up over this edit background image, um, I can put in a background image like this. I could say, uh, buy our diamonds. If this was a jewelry store, like I did in my last episode, I can highlight this text. I can uh, change that to white, uh, which is you know probably not the best because of his his collar here, but whatever. I can I can go ahead and I can do all this. I can customize this call to action link. I can change it to a different button look uh, look and feel. It's a very much a page builder like experience, but with a super lightweight widget. Um, with not, you know, there's no other adjustments. You're not going to be changing columns. You're not going to be adding columns in here, that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and drop in another widget. And then we'll start to draw the similarities between this and, and Beaver Builder. So I'm going to do the last one here and I'll do the features one widget. And by the way, if you, if you do upgrade to Baton Pro, there's other, uh, displays. There's a hero three, there's more features, that kind of thing. So Here's the features one display widget. Again, you can see here, there's all this pre-formatting. It's already here. Uh, and then you, you can fine tune this with numbers and rows. So let's just pause for a second and talk about building something like this in a page builder versus using something like note and, uh, and baton here. This stuff is already done for you. So you're not gonna be able to go in and change this line uh, color. You're really gonna have to hit some CSS to do that. Uh, but short of that, like, and, and of course, like the padding around these areas, between these hero areas, you're not gonna be able to drag and drop this stuff over here, but you will be able to say, you know what, I don't have four features, Matt. Uh, what happens if I have two features? I can drag this number of columns down to two features, and then maybe say, well, well, maybe I want two features per row. How do I do that? Well, you can just drag this up to three rows, and that'll give you two by three, and you can put in your features here. So you can mix and match in this order, but you won't get that super granular detail that you'll get with like a page builder. So our, our concept on building a page is how can we do it as fast and lightweight as possible while providing the most amount uh, of customization features. Now, because these are widgets, you can just drag these around, you can reorder them, you can drop in other widgets, you can make multiple heroes if you wanted to, uh, you can do all that kind of thing. Now, this is uh, the latest update to Baton Free, uh, excuse me, to Baton in WordPress.org. It's all free. You can do all of this customization on the home page. And again, if you wanted to do this on any page using the Baton theme, uh, you would have to upgrade to Baton Pro. That'll get you this, this capability across the entire website, plus the conductor features, uh, conductor content blocks that we talked about before. Okay, now let's move on and I'll show you what we've done with Beaver Builder. So I'm going to exit this and I don't think I've saved any of this. So the home page should still be bare. Okay, um, let's go to the dashboard and let's enable Beaver Builder. Now, we are also doing this with Beaver Builder free. So let me just check one thing here. If we go to the home page, um, I'm not going to search for that right now, but let's just look at the about page. So right now, I just want to call your attention to the template section. These are the templates that we have uh, that we ship baton with. Default template, the full width temp template, and the landing page template. Okay. Now the difference is when we go ahead and activate Beaver Builder, Beaver Builder is a page builder. And again, like I said, I'm going to draw some of the similarities between what we do with note and baton with Beaver Builder, page builder versus uh, customizable widgets. Okay. So we've activated Beaver Builder, page builder. And when we go back to that page, just go back to the about page and we check out those templates again. Now you'll see that there is a Beaver Builder template active. Uh, Baton turns this on as soon as you install Beaver Builder, be it the free version or the paid version, okay? So I'm going to activate or I'm going to select the Beaver Builder template, uh, a lot of Bs. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Page Builder and bring us right into the Page Builder. Now, what you'll notice is you don't see our content section. Uh, whereas most themes, when you activate Beaver Builder on it, at least in the free WordPress repo, um, the Beaver Builder page building section like you see here is just in the content of the page. So like when I showed you those templates before, Beaver Builder would normally display in those content areas with our Beaver Builder template. 
It's going to go full width, edge to edge. And now let me show you some of that and, and draw the similarities between um, the note widget like I showed you before. First thing I'm going to do is drop in a text editor. Drop in the text editor. And I'm going to say this is my hero area. And I'm, what I'm going to do now is, let me just save that for a second. If this is the first time you've seen Beaver Builder, it might seem a little overwhelming to you. Um, so I do apologize. Go back and watch some of my videos. I have plenty of videos on Beaver Builder in my channel here. Uh, but let me just throw in the hero widget that we looked at before. So the note widget, boom. Hero one, boom. And now it's going to format it. This is my hero. And I'm going to throw in a background image. Save. Change the color to white. Okay. That's the note widget like we demonstrated earlier. You can see that when I put this in, it's all formatted. The, the font uh, size for the, the sort of main call to action is much larger than sort of the supplemental text. And then there's a button there. There's plenty of spacing and padding. It's just designed well. It looks, looks good. Whereas when we drop in a Beaver Builder editor or a text editor, we have to go through and edit this to format it. Uh, this is my hero. And just like I showed you before, what I have to do is go hero one and then put in new paragraph text, blah, 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 fill that all in, save that, and then go to the background, put in a photo, select the photo. I'm going to put this one in from before. You can see that it stops because this is the theme's sort of default content width, but because it works with, or at least that's because it's fixed here, I'm sorry, uh, it's fixed with this width here. But if I switch this to full width, boom, it takes up the entire full width just like the note hero here. The difference being, now I have to play with like sort of all the padding um, to get it look like this or add more content if I wanted to match up with the look and feel of this hero, which you know we feel is, is designed specifically for baton. It looks really good, that kind of thing. So already you can see the differences. When I wanted to customize this, I just click in this and start typing, right? Um, of course, I deleted that because I selected the other line. But I can just come in here and start typing. Um, if I want to change a photo, I just click this and come in here and change a photo. Because Beaver Builder has all the options, uh, page builders have all these options to play with. It's not as straightforward as that. You click it, a modal pops up. You're sort of typing in text over here. It's not really within the content. It doesn't look as, as slick, you know, in, at least in my feelings. And then when you really want to fine tune it, you have to go in and put all of those settings in here. So you'll spend a considerable amount of time customizing it versus a sort of templated approach where we just say, boom, it's done for you. It looks good. Move on with your life. Um, you're going to spend time here in Beaver Builder and do all that stuff. But again, the flip side is, I know I'm beating this, uh, like, you know, beating into a dead horse, whatever the saying is, I can't even remember right now. Um, it's because I just want people to realize the differences. One, we feel like when we do it this way, it's super fast and efficient. It looks good. Gets you done really, really, really quickly. This one, you're going to spend a lot of time, but you'll be able to get pixel perfect. Now, with Beaver Builder, you can actually save those components and then reuse them in the pro version. You can actually save these. So if you built the hero out, spent all that time building it, um, you got it exactly to where you wanted it to be, you can actually save it. Um, whoops, let me go over here. You can actually save it, and it's not going to prompt me to buy. I thought it would show me like a little pop-up to buy. Uh, you could save that as a template. Jeez, I'm, I'm messing all up here. You can go to add content, and over here there'll be these, these sort of template areas or template modules, whatever it's, whatever that's called in the pro version, and you can reuse those. So that is a benefit to Beaver Builder. Again, it's just a, a, a ton more options. Um, and if you're using, one final note, uh, if you're using another uh, plugin or widget that uses the WordPress customizer, like the pure WordPress customizer like this, like if you're in here, you know, changing the color scheme of baton and you're in and you want to say, hey, I want to change this to blue. And then you want to play around with, you know, the colors that you set in your hero. You're in the WordPress customizer and everything else that's going to be moving to the WordPress customizer is going to work and it's going to be accessible. Whereas Beaver Builder, you're in Beaver Builder's customizer and you'd have to do all the work here and then go into the into the WordPress customizer to do any of those changes that, you know, that you require to do in the customizer. Um, but that's like that with every page builder. Every page builder brings in their new, their own experience. Uh, I really like Beaver Builder when you have to start making more complex layouts than what we'll provide. So if you needed to, 
you know, do something with, you know, three columns. Um, and then the pro version actually supports nested columns now. Um, you could do that. I don't know if I can put that in there. Yeah, that just sort of adds to that. Uh, but if you needed to do something like, well, I want to drag this to 15% over here, and, and then this one gets really big, but there's a little space in here, you can see how you can really fine tune that stuff. You're not going to get that with our note widget. We just say, look, here, here's what it is. You have up to six columns to play with. Uh, if that's good enough, then then fine. If not, you know, hit up some CSS with Beaver Builder. You can make much more complex layouts, and that's another huge advantage. It's just going to take you some time. It's going to take you some time to learn it all, time to get acquainted uh, with it. Um, but uh, we're really excited that Baton now supports that. You can get the Baton theme for free, and that's sort of the beauty. You can build all this stuff now with Baton for free, with Note Widget, uh, with Beaver Builder free, and, and get some pretty get a pretty powerful solution together. Uh, and again, I'll just reiterate, if you move up to Baton Pro, you can build with the Note Widget and the Conductor Widget across any page in the Baton theme or your WordPress website, whereas in the free version, you can only do it on the home page. Um, and with Beaver Builder, you get it for free over at wordpress.org slash plugins slash Beaver Builder Lite version. Uh, check it out. It's a great page builder. I got a ton of videos on it if you want to learn how to use it. You can build some pretty powerful stuff, I think. Uh, let me know. What kind of tutorials do you want? Do these types of tutorials help you um, in your business? Are you a WordPress professional? Like, are you selling WordPress websites to people uh, as a consultant, that kind of thing? Uh, or you, you know, running your own WordPress shop and you're just here to kind of learn to help yourself um, do good with your web, one website, but you're not selling websites. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to everybody who's subscribing. We'll surely hit a thousand subscribers really soon. Uh, PluginTut.com, YouTube.com slash PluginTut. Make sure you go ahead and hit subscribe, like the video, share it with friends and family. Thanks, everybody.